Hello, this is Ashkan from New Op Army, and I want to show you how our awesome movement package works in order to uh, actually to make you able to take a decision about buying it or not. Let me open one of our example scenes, which is our 2D example scene, and show you how it works. So uh, most of the times you need to, for example, check for collisions before moving somewhere and then move there over time or at the same frame uh, and at the same time you want to collide with other objects and uh, fire up some events. This is a small maze-like example which we have and mm, coded up really fast actually so you can see that I can move around and collisions happen and I don't have any character controller whatsoever mm, the library draws gizmos for you and you can set its properties here you can use different shapes for casting you can use different sizes and there is a button here which allows you to calculate mm, uh, your object size based on a collider and actually the component doesn't need any game objects to work let's take a look at our 3d example as well so here is our component again we are using a sphere-like shape for it but you don't have to this is more complex with a pacman-like level and things related to it and has a more complex uh, movement pattern actually it uses our smooth move family of functions in order to work and also we have a complete readme file here with description and have full API doc as well as you can see here which is zipped and all scripts are fully commented so you can actually read them and learn from them if you choose to the editor scripts are not that much commented but they are very simple so there is no need to do that so you get the idea there is lots of code and functionality which is required for many kind of classic games and also it has a really high performance because it doesn't use character controllers so if you are making network game network games like us then you will be able to benefit from using it you can use it with a character controller with a rigid body whatsoever but you don't have to if you don't require their functionality and I hope uh, you enjoy it if you buy it and we really respond well to feedback and add the features that users want so happy coding